Okay, much should be on now. As always, after a minute, I need a drink though, so it took a couple more seconds. So, we're back with more Metal Gear. I don't know if this is the end, gonna be the end of it or not. I hope so, because this game can't be too long, can it? So, what happened last time? I got... There's missiles down there. Uh, shit. I'm already off to a good start here. I'll just take the death, just because I'm right where I started anyway. So, I have the parachute... And I need to do something with that plane, helicopter, whatever it was. It's most likely a hind, because it's always a hind. Be uh, as smooth as I thought it would be. No, I already got the uh, the prisoner on the left side. That's what I actually stopped with. I got it and then went back to the elevator to, you know, make a checkpoint. But if you were here last night, you would have seen that. Could see me right away, so maybe if I put the box on. Shit. Nope, guess not. Alright, the right was the wrong way, so let's go to the left first. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Uh... I need the missiles. Oh, wait, I need a ration. Uh, F3. Good, so get them off my back. Mine detector. Okay. Or mine D, as it's called here. Dude, really? Mind D, hind D, yeah. Alright, I guess I have to fight this thing now. Uh, grenades it is. Or maybe just missiles. I don't know. To the left and right, or down, down and right. Excuse me. So there's a room up there. Uh, I don't think any of these are gonna help. I got the missiles equipped. Ah. Oh, that's not good. I'm just kind of standing there while that's happening. Hit me from there? I 
can't. Hidden enough? Yep, I didn't. I just didn't hit it enough. That was, yeah, that was a lot of D, a lot of mine D, a lot of hind D, pork rind D. This is probably where I need the pea shoot. <laughs> I guess there's multiple screens of this. Uh oh. Ow, 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 ow. Shit, 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 shit. shit. That's a D. Dogs. That starts with D. Something tells me I'm gonna need this here. Let me guess. If I take that off, yep, I can't see any of them. Shit. Oh wow, that causes a lot of slowdown too for some reason. Oh no, the truck is moving! Was that Snake saying that? That would have been like his first line of dial actual dialogue. Oh god damn it, really? It brought me back here? Do I have to go all the way back up now? At least I don't have to fight the hind again. Also I can refill my uh my shit. Yeah. Okay. What? I hate the buttons for this game. I hate the buttons for the MSX. They, they like, use shift, N, Z, and, like, space, and it's like... I don't like hitting those buttons. I don't like hitting those keys. Well, switching weapons is F2, and then F3 is inventory, and it's like... I don't want to hit the F buttons. Alright, well, I'm equipped at least. Can I get back up here now? No. Alright, so don't go in the uh, left truck. Got it. Had they not see me? Or had that not hit him, rather? That range was shit. a little bit. Bam. Let's see if I can... Re eh, no, because the only ammo I really blew a lot of was missiles and grenades, and I'm probably not going to be using a lot of either of those. Alright, so we're back up here. I put the BB suit back on. Take it off. Put the pea suit on. D. 
deal with this shit again. Uh, good. Good. Shut up. They can't hit me. And now back to the dogs. I can't go through there. I should put the mine D back on. Let's go over here. There's no mines here. This, I believe, leads into an area I've already been, so there's no reason to open that door. This fleet's somewhere isolated, though. And I don't think anything I have can open it. Nope. Maybe that is... That's probably what's in the truck, then. Okay, so... deal with this. Mine? Nope, that didn't affect it. I guess we just have to not hit them. Card four. Alright, cool. Whispered that line. I didn't. I didn't say that forcefully enough. Whatever. Hidden shit. No, nope, no hidden shit. This leads up to where I was before. Yep. And it also opens that door. I'm saved. Dr. Petrovic was moved to Building 2. Building 2 is 10 kilometers north of here. Oh wow, so we're not even at Building 2 yet. We can open this door now. And we can open that door up there. Tells me I'm not quite done with the, uh... Actually, you know what? Let me go back in and use the elevator to make a save point. Because I don't want to be caught. This is a good place to stock up, too. Since I could just kill this guy over and over for ammo. Another ration. Perfect. Alright, let's pull out the mine detector. Knew that was gonna happen. Alright. Okay. This is interesting. So, each direction looks like it loops.
Yeah, it just looks like it loops. Oh my god, I hate trying to get out of that. <laughs> Plastic bomb. Which I don't need any more of. I've got 15 of them. And that let me hear for some reason? Okay. That's weird. Oh, that door's already open. Nice. Looks like this is just infinitely looping. Oh god. Rations, which I don't really need. I'm full up on those. Oh shit! That hurts. A lot. I don't need a ration. I say as I use a ration. Look, I can cheap it out. Oh god, really? Oh, that was quick. I got hit by a big bullet. Oh nice, the save point's right here, too. That actually helps me out quite a bit. I don't really need that. Actually, no, I'll call what's-her-name and talk to her in a minute. Rip. <laughs> no. Ah, shit. Pro speedrunning strats right here. This is Diane. Beat the tank with mines. Bye. <laughs> How do you know I'm at the tank? Also, what the hell? Great. That doesn't really help. Ah, oh, shit. No. God damn it. So it doesn't drop down below that point. It's kind of rough. doesn't drop below the, the edge yet. Yeah, stops where the pathway gets wider. That hurts. 
hurt it. Hope it did. Oh, that made the landmine disappear if you open the menu. That that sucks. Damn it, MSX limitation. MGS, you could just throw grenades at it till it dies. I mean, you could do that in this game, but that's not what they recommend. Also, I'm almost out of mines anyway, so. I don't know if I'm doing enough damage or not. Or any damage. I gotta put my chair a little closer here. Is it doing something, or. Yeah, I don't know. Good question. It's running over them, so it's exploding. Oh, fuck. Keep forgetting not to do that. Gotta heal for- heal after it gets hit. need rotating machine guns when they could just fire a single gun in, in like six directions here. Ow. I don't think this is gonna work. Why doesn't it just drive out further? That's a good question. Yeah, it didn't kill him, and I ran out of life anyway. No. It did give me plastic explosives. Uh, shit, what the hell? It did give me the plastic bombs before I came here. Yeah, the, the Metal Gear Death Jingle is really good. Underrated, because everyone always knows the, uh... Everyone only knows the Metal Gear Solid Death Jingles. I was saying yesterday, it's really weird how this series of all series became, like, such a weird, trippy, like, psychedelic... Like, you know, nonsensical mess that Kojima made it into when this and Metal Gear 2 are fairly straightforward, like, action games. And then you have, you suddenly we get into Metal Gear Solid where we're, like, having, like, friggin... Actually, I don't know. I'm not, I've never played Metal Gear Solid. I'm going to, soon. I'm gonna be doing this, Metal Gear 2, and then Metal Gear Solid. And then I'll probably do Parasite Eve after that. But, uh, I mean, I've played Metal Gear Solid 3, and I've seen all of 4 and 5, and, you know, that's where they really start kicking up all the trippy shit. I mean, 2 is where the trippy shit really starts, which I do have, but I can't stream it because it's too, uh, too intensive on my current computer. If I get a better computer next year, though, I will definitely stream Metal Gear Solid 2. But, I mean, that's the one that everyone refers to when they talk about all the crazy shit in the series, because there's a lot of it in that game.
I've never played Metal Gear Solid 2, so I wouldn't know. I mean, it looks fun. For the first PS2 Metal Gear Solid, it looks really good. And I really like 3, so... Three's probably the best in show for the complete Metal Gear Solid package, that's true. I'm not gonna deny that. Three definitely has some of the best shit in the series. It's also funny because it's the first that didn't star Solid Snake in any real capacity. I mean, even... Whoa, okay, so that, that happens when you go in front of it. grenades. Alright, and just touching it kills you. Fuck. I don't think I'm doing anything to this thing. Five's gameplay is really good, but certainly not much of an MGS game. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree. It's very much an open world game with just Metal Gear Solid mechanics to it. And I mean, that's kind of the point of it, which I don't necessarily hate. But, um, I gotta say, after watching a full playthrough of it, I'm definitely not totally up for playing it myself anytime soon. The only games I've played so far are, um, MGS3 was my first one, then I played Metal Gear Rising, which is, that's a great game. I mean, it's not really Metal Gear, but it's still, it's still amazing. Just everything about that game is incredible. I've played, I've played Portable Ops on the PSP, which wasn't that great, but not as bad as everyone said it was, and I've played Peace Walker on the PSP, which, honestly, I feel like... I feel like that game is amazing. I mean, it's 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 weird. It's weird. Metal Gear uh, Peace Walker is kind of weird because it's like the level of technology is way too advanced for like 1970s. But you also just don't really care because it's it's a good Metal Gear game. And that's what they brought. But that's what was that? What was the villain in that one? Hot Coldman. Which is one of the best names in the series. Right next to what was the name what was the guy I fought last stream? Gun shooter? Or gun shootman? You got any other shit for me? No. Beat the tank with mines, bye. Fuck you. I mean, there, there's gotta be... I must be doing something wrong. So it fires a bullet whenever I go in front. Strange love. She wasn't a villain, though. And I gotta say, I felt a lot worse for her after what 
gets revealed in Metal Gear Solid 5 than I do for Huey, that's for sure. God, fuck him. It, it's, it's ridiculous how Yui went from, like, this lovable, like, dork in Peace Walker to being, like, pretty much the most hated person on Mother Base in Metal Gear Solid 5. He, he ruins everything. He's the one who lets the people that destroy Mother Base come onto it in the first place. Yeah, she does have a good name. Maybe I'm not putting it in the right spot? I don't know. Alright, I can't squeeze next to it. That doesn't work. I don't get it. I could take down a friggin' gigantic hind, but I can't take down a tank. He's not very well spoke of in MGS2. Yeah, that's true. But it's like... I don't know. I thought that maybe Peace Walker would be an attempt to... I don't know how to put it. Like, show that he's not as bad of a person as, as Hal says he is. But then it turns out he's just as bad. I mean, I understand that he was upset with Strangelove because of her actions with, you know, essentially wanting to take Hal away from him. And wanting to raise her... Wanting to raise him as a child of hers and, and the bosses, which I still think that's crazy, but also a very neat plot point. But yeah, man. Fuck Huey. He tried to kill Emma. Alright. Actually, I didn't know about that. I, I didn't know too much about what Huey does in MGS2, aside from the fact that he kills himself. I don't know. And that's before the events of the game, obviously. Fucker, what am I doing here? I mean, I pretty much know the story of the entire series by this point. MGS 1 and 2 are the only ones I've never... S well, and Metal Gear 2. I pretty much have seen the entire Big Boss, like story, and I've seen the end of Snake's story and read about what happens in most of his other shit. It really doesn't matter at this point. There's a few, like, finer details that I'm not entirely sure on, but... Oh, he ch Oh, okay. No, you know what? I did know that. I knew that because, um... I knew Emma drowned. Or no, I knew, um... I knew Huey drowned to death. I didn't know he tried to drown Emma with him. Maybe I did know that and I just forgot. It's really hard to tell. Come on, you asshole. Fuck! Well, never mind. He hit me twice. Try that. Uh, um, no. Ooh, 
thread the needle close on that one. No. Oh fuck. God damn it. It's really hard to do this properly with that with the mines disappearing every time you pause. Hal's a good guy, but he's constantly treated like garbage. Yeah, no. Hal's pretty much the opposite of his father. Hal earnestly believes that what he what he was doing was for good, whereas Huey, like, you know, claimed it was, and then he just wanted to save his own skin in the end. I've only got one mine left. I mean, Hal constantly gets dealt a bad hand in, in life. It, it's really depressing, really. He definitely has some of the more emotional moments of the series, especially in uh, 4. Oh, damn it. Doesn't even hit him. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I need more mines, but where am I going to get more? Uh, where do the mines generate? Wait a minute. Can I? Wait. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say that maybe this is like, um, MGS where you could pick up the claymores and shit. Um, the earlier Metal Gears, you mean the big boss Metal Gears or like the Metal Gears in this game? Because they, they've said that the Metal Gear in this game can definitely fire a nuke. <clears throat> I mean, the whole purpose of the Shagohod in MGS3 was to be like a beta Metal Gear where it essentially could launch a nuke just by moving really quickly. Obviously, it would no, be nowhere near as efficient. I don't know how... I don't know how didn't know then. I don't know how how... I don't know how Hal didn't know then. Um... I don't know. Well, you know why? I think it's heavily implied that all Metal Gears before Metal Gear Solid were kind of kept secret. Secret? Secret? Jesus. Baby talk. I think that... I, I think that it's like not general knowledge of what the Metal Gears were before MGS. In fact, I still don't think it's common knowledge of what they were. I think that the first like, publicly known version of these mechs were probably the ones in MGS4, just because they were, at that point they were, like, mass-produced and everyone knew about them. But I don't think that the Metal Gears in MGS1, 2, Metal Gear 1 and 2, and then Peace Walker and MGS5, those might all just not be well-known. The government may have easily just covered them all up. You never know. I don't think Sohilanthropus can launch nukes after Shadow Moses Metal Gear production spread worldwide. Well, there you go. But he didn't know during Shadow Moses, so... Up to that point, that's probably the case. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? I... I don't... Do I not have enough mines? 
I, I gotta look it up now, because I really don't want to, uh... I really don't want to struggle with this too much longer. Oh my god, I'm only halfway through the game. Takes around 12, apparently. So I need to go find more. Shit. Alright, I gotta... F Where were the mines? The mines were like the first weapon I picked up that I could actually use. It was made by the U.S. government to specifically counter the leaked Rex blueprints. Oh. See, again, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, or 4, so... I'm not entirely clear on all that stuff. I've watched playthroughs of 4. I'm probably going to play 1 and 2. Well, I'm gonna play 1. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the thing back on. No. Uh, this. Gun. There. The mines were right over here, actually. Works out, because I have card four. Now I remember. Alright, not the middle one. The middle one is enemies. There, there they are. Is that enough? Fifteen. refill my rations when I get up here. Woo! So this boss would literally be impossible if you weren't rank 3, because you wouldn't be able to carry 15 mines. Stop moving forward. Fuck, that one didn't hit. Oh, no, never mind. Got him. Haha, <laughs> got them. My brother's been doing that apparently at work. Where instead of saying got him, he says got them. Like, very articulate. Just to, just to sound stupid. He just announced they're removing all microtransactions from Battlefront 2. Wow, really? I, I guess they really, they, they really, people were really pissed about that shit. I, I did not expect EA to cave like that, though.
I was under the impression that Outer Heaven was an island, yet this place is friggin' huge. Okay, we got him. Can I take these back? No. Of course not. What's this about what? Oh, um... I mean, you it's it's been talked about a lot the last few days. There's some really bad, like, microtransactions in, uh... This new Star Wars game that EA made. And... It got a lot of shit from people, and apparently they're removing all of the microtransactions from the game now, which... Is pretty ridiculous. Because you wouldn't expect a company like EA to kind of cave on that. A foxhounder is infiltrated. Don't let him in. This is Big Boss. That's a checkpoint. Wear an enemy uniform and infiltrate. Call on frequency 12013 from now on. Over. Okay. Hi, this is Diane. Call on frequencies 12091 from now on. Call me later. Bye. Okay. Uh. Wait, did I forget? Well, I've already forgotten both of them. Alright, 12013. And was the other one 12090? One twenty ninety one, so thirteen ninety one. Thirteen ninety one, thirteen ninety one, thirteen ninety one. I'm gonna forget those. Ah, you shithead. Yeah, that was a bit screwy, too. That was the worst part of it, honestly. That's what people were pissed about. The fact that you could pay money to just have an in-game advantage. Uh, I think I did this wrong. I was supposed to actually get a uniform. They can see you from a ways away. Shit! All right. Great. All the way fucking back here again, really? I gotta fight the goddamn tank again. Also, sorry, my phone is just giving me, like, shit right now. Alright, back to the tank. Remember when I thought I was gonna beat this in, like, an hour? And I was gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be a shorter stream tonight.
Yeah, I mean, this, this, this situation with EA really blew the fuck up, like... Microtransactions were always looked down upon, but th this game definitely, you know, on top... The problem is, it's not even that it used microtransactions, it's the fact that it used that on top of being... Uh, what was it, an $80 game? Not even 60 It was like 80 bucks apparently. And it's just like, what the hell, like... You know, if you're gonna do that, then make the game cheaper. I know you gotta recoup your costs here, but if you're gonna be relying on an endless supply of microtransactions, then... You can't price the game as if it doesn't have them in it. And most of EA's employees apparently agree with that. It's really it's really just an executive decision that that shit happens nowadays. I mean, I mentioned this uh, yeah, on the end of yesterday's stream. My friends, uh, my indie dev friends, came out with their first game yesterday. It's called Tiny Bird Garden on iOS and Android. It's really cute and fun, and I recommend downloading it if you can. Uh, there's microtransactions in that, but the game is free. And also, you don't even need to do the microtransactions if you don't want to. It just gets you, like, the in-game currency quicker. How do we handle this shit? That's one, rather. Uh, wait for him to turn right, and then go up after he turns. Fucking really? Come on! Oh my god, dude, come on! Uniform and infiltrate. Call on frequency one two zero three four. All right, but am I supposed to go back and get the uniform? Is that what it's telling me to do? I think that's what I have to do. I think it's actually wanting me to go back, which is fine. I'd rather not have to fight the friggin' tank again. Here, no. Let's 
Set a save point so I don't lose my shit. Why did I fire? There are a few doors I haven't gone through yet. There's two in the basement that are definitely still inaccessible. Or they were, they probably are accessible now. Didn't need that, needed ammo, but whatever. Let's go to the basement. Hold on one sec. Let me just, uh... Okay. Dead. There's the enemy uniform. Body armor. Or maybe not. Maybe that just gives you extra defense. I mean, that dog did like nothing, no damage to me. This is where I fought Gun Shooter, or whatever his name was. Oh no, I still can't open this door. No, that's not it. They still see me, so... What the shit? Just kill me already so I could restart. Uh, huh. Nah, the body armor just reduces the damage I take, which... Not to say that isn't bad, I definitely can use that. The alert theme is really good. Um, what doors haven't I opened, though? There was that shortcut door that leads to where I fought the, the machine gunner. But... Hmm... We already searched this place thoroughly. Uh, we already went to the left. The left is just has the shortcut door. So we searched that area completely. Basement, we can't open that last door. Rooftop, we searched thoroughly. Was there a door anywhere here I haven't opened yet? Definitely searched all these rooms thoroughly. Because this is the area with the security cameras, and I opened every door on the way there. Uh, intro area. I went in through that bottom door, right? Wait a minute, there might be a door I haven't gone through yet. I think I might have, though. I'm not sure. It's really hard to tell because of how this game's structured. 
should have used my other ration before that. Nope, I did go through this door. It just leads outside. I don't think there's any other doors I missed. Could it just be the body armor? No, it couldn't. I need something else. basement. Not the second floor. Not the third floor? No. Third floor, uh... I don't know. I don't fucking know. Maybe it is the body armor and I'm just not fooling anyone here. Body armor. Nope. Oh, they saw me right away. Okay, cool. So that's not it. So they don't care. They they do not care if you're in the box or not. The second they see you, they're gonna go ape shit. Yeah, I know. Steal an enemy uniform. How do I do that? You got something else for me here? No. Where the fuck is an enemy uniform? I'm, I'm stumped. I do not know what to do. <laughs> I do not know where there could be a uniform of any sort. Is there any other door I have missed? Basement, I got the one that I can go through. This floor, 
I got all of them down into the way where you get caught. To the left is the three trucks. There's nothing in there. Maybe... Maybe. I think I got an idea. It's in basement one? Well, that makes no sense because I was down there already. I got the body armor. But I don't think it's the same thing. My thought is that it's down here, over here. Maybe I have to mug this sleeping dude. Hidden behind a wall, apparently? Fuck. Nope, he just dropped a ration. I mean, there's no way to subdue people in this game, that's the problem. This isn't Metal Gear Solid 3 where I can knock out the Raiden look-alike, shove him into a locker, and then have, uh... Commander Volgan grab my crotch. God damn it, there is a hidden wall down here. How the fuck are you supposed to know this? Oh no, it's just ammo and a pipe bomb. A plastic bomb, which, again, useful, definitely. I did need a place to refill my ammo. up on everything except landmines at this point. Up and right from where you fight Shoot Gunner. Really? There's like no indication that there's something there. No, that's not it. No, go back to the door and then up and right. Oh, you can't, uh, you cannot punch. Along the left wall. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? This doesn't tell you. I can't go to the left here. Jesus. There is no way anyone would know to look there. Thank you for saving me a lot of time and trouble, because I would have never thought to look there. Ever. Here's the question, if I wear the enemy uniform... Will they never- will they not see me, period? No, they still will see me. Appreciated, but not what I wanted. I could pick up another ration on my way out there.
Legend of Zelda 1 problems, yeah. But Legend of Zelda 1 at least would give you a hint as to where to hit. They'd be like, oh, look at the map, there's a space open here. This game does not have a map. <coughs> also, I never have enough time to sneeze there. Or just mute my mic, sorry. Excuse me. How do you do, fellow children? Proceed. Alright. Building B. We made it. Second half of the game. No. No, 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 no. I'm one of you. I'm one of you. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular human, like you. Not a clone. Whoa! I was ill-prepared for that. Ah, apparently they don't care. They will shoot their own. Mine. Also mine. Just not in the same way. Not the same kind of mine. if there was a ration in here, but whatever. Oh, I have to fight that thing. Shit. Water and laser beams. Okay. I'm guessing. Actually, why am I even guessing? I should just use the codec. Really, Diane? Nothing? Not gonna help me? Boss, you got something for me? Nothing? Really? You guys are a bunch of assholes. Bunch of fucking morons. So I guess the same premise here, Matt Landmines. Okay, cool. Every later game, the bosses would have 10 pieces of info for them. I mean, the thing isn't even that they have 10 pieces of info. I just want one piece of info so I know where to go or know what to do. So armor's useless because I'll get killed in one hit. I guess my only hope is to drop a bunch of mines from the get-go and pray that it's enough to take it down. Oh, I don't have any anymore. That's why. Oh god, why? <sighs> These menu buttons are really annoying the shit out of me. I can't shoot across the water, but of course they can. Because that makes perfect sense.
Nope, that didn't work. Mm-hmm. Nothing. That does nothing. Oh, I got it. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Okay, now I have a question. Does that permanently kill it, or is it back? Is that a boss, or does it have the music? Alright, it does permanently kill it, so I could go refill my shit now. To defeat the enemy, shoot it until it dies. That was a funny meme from back in the day. Top quality memes. Almost there. One more mine, and 20 more grenades. Uh, it's only six per. People die when they are killed. This kills the man. boss killed, I got most of my ammo refilled, and I'm only missing a little health. We're pretty good. Motherfucking IR goggles. Oh no! Oh, 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 Jesus. Okay. Okay. Cool. Alright, so what do we got here? A basement. Two floors, and then I guess a roof and another floor. Oh, just a roof. Okay. Nope. Uh, why can't I ride this down? Why am I stuck up here?
No, keep lining up. It makes it easy. Oh god, they're not gonna stop, are they? I'm saved. Dr. Petrovic's in an underground cell. Okay, cool. Time for tact is over. I see how this is gonna be. This is just impossible to not uh, fucking get attacked during. People are just gonna be at me constantly. This elevator, like, only moves in one direction. Gas! Room. Okay. We're in a maze now, right? This is gonna be where it gets confusing. You know, though, I'd rather deal with gas than, than enemies, since... This shit's pretty easy to just power yourself through. So I don't have enough cards to get through that door somehow, because apparently there's more than four. stock up on shit, I guess. I need more rations. Rat ions. Actual ionized rats. They, they make delicious and nutritious meals.
This should be the last one I need. Why, uh... Why aren't any of my cards working? There we go. Punch that one down or no? Nope, can't. I have to use the P bomb. I'm saved. Only way off this floor is to use the north elevator. Alright, I'm at class three now, or class four now, which means I have max life. I don't know what class 5 would do, or is there even a class 5? Also, how's this guy saved? Because he's now stuck in this basement with poison gas everywhere. So, he ain't going nowhere. Hey, it's that guy. You're trapped. Real Dr. Petrikov is on floor two. Die, Foxhounder. Oh, you thought you got me, but you didn't. Card six. Actually, wait a sec before I go over there. Would I have died if I fell down that hole, or would it have just led to somewhere else? Up oh, there's another door here. Oh, how about that? Oh, sweet. I don't have to go back and get more. Alright, so no point in going over there. How come some doors stay unlocked and others are like, no, you gotta pull the key card back out? I'm Fire Trooper. I'll roast ya. Oh man, really? Diane, help. Come on, Diane. Okay, so she's just being a useless piece of shit. Great. Oh, 
That's good. That could just hit me. Okay, so you can generate a, a Super Mario Brothers fire rope. That's neat. Of course, I'm invulnerable where I'm standing, but I can't hit him. Hmm. Grab a sip of water while I'm trying to figure this out. Doesn't seem to be any way to avoid getting hit by that if I go down there. Uh, will that get enough distance on him? So I don't think that's hitting him. Okay, really? How the hell am I supposed to find time to hit him here? body armor on. There's not really much more I can do here. Except going guns blazing here. Alright, never mind. That took care of him pretty easily. How to beat the enemy, just pump him full of bullets. Okay, yeah, these elevators only go one way each. So we gotta be, I gotta make sure I clear out a room completely before I use it. Oh, okay, that hurts me. Cool. How did I know that there's going to be some kind of bullshit there? So this is the other elevator that goes down, because I was here before. Interesting. Interesting how that works. Flashlight. Or flight, as they call it. A f an F light. Don't know how that's gonna help me, but I'm sure it will.
part two, part three. Uh, it's so, like... Okay. Antenna. I'm gonna call. This is Big Boss. Had a jamming attack, but it's solved. Over. Oh, that's why I couldn't contact them. That antenna was jamming the codec the entire time. Oh no, never mind. Diane just doesn't want to talk to me. She finds Snake very boring. You know, just for good measure, I'm gonna make a save here. Just, just because it's been a long time since I did, and I don't want to risk. Oops, I don't want to risk losing it. If I accidentally forget to hit a button, or there's a crash or something. Can I use it? No, I can't to get rid of it. Because so I know the bug, you can actually just use it to get rid of it. Which makes me wonder what would happen if I kept that in my inventory until now. Oh, it doesn't matter what I do, they're gonna see me no matter what. That's cool. Oh, fucking... Okay, that was my phone, sorry. Really? Can't open that even with card six? Alrighty then. Plasta bombs, which I don't really need. Though if they're putting them there, I probably do need them for something. But clearly, nothing in here. Shit, I thought I wouldn't be able to see me from all the way over there. Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna micromanage all three of you. I'm saved. The water channel goes to building three. Oh, God, there's another building? Two of these was enough. Something tells me I'm not done in this building yet, though. Shit. So 
So I fully searched this area, right? Wait, going in there anyway, doesn't matter. Alright, floor two. Cool. Blue guys. I'm assuming they're more deadly than the red guys. Who are these motherfuckers? These don't look like regular dudes. There's also a lot of doors in there. Oh my god, why are there so many doors? I'm just gonna take the death and go back to the elevator. This would actually be a good place to save here. How many doors do I have to go through here? Uh, these guys don't die. Period. Okay, cool. I mean, this is where I have to go next. There's there's no doubt that there's shit here hidden for me. I'm guessing this just leads into that room, because it looks like it loops down into it. Antidote. I don't know to what, but I got it. is into this room and then looping out of it somehow. I could they just rush you and then they walk away the media the, the moment you're out of their sight. Actually you don't even have to be in their sight the second they sent you. Yeah. Weird. They don't they can't move up and down. I 
I still have the antidote, so I don't need to go that way anymore. Sucks. Like, if you go up there, there's no way to get back without getting seen. Oh, this is a shitload of ammo here. If only there were rations, that'd be good. Especially since I'm pretty much out by now. Should be full. My daughter Ellen was taken hostage. I won't talk about Metal Gear unless you save her. She is confined in the basement of Building 1. Save her. Uh, really? I gotta go back to Building 1? Okay. Maybe that'll make him... Nope. Won't make him any less hostile towards me. Wow, I'm almost out of rations here.
go back in here, make our save point. Continue on. Alright, so we know where two of these doors lead. Hmm. So next we should do the top or the bottom, because I know the right leads to a bunch more. I like how this guy's just staring at walls. He's not even looking towards me. I'm saved. Use a compass to cross the desert. Shit, dude, come on. Ah, sleepy. Bam, 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 bam. You're dead. No, oh, oh. Hmm. All right. Momentary hiccup. No big deal. Don't forget him name-wise, that's all who? Petrikov? Or Petrovic, whatever his name was? Poopmeister? forget his name. Tired guard does a sleeb. S L E E B. just the elevator that goes down so we know what that is we know what this the deal with this place is already okay and touching holes instantly kills you so you learn it's a learning experience oh fuck but now I'm back here automatically because of the elevator I love how big boss has no problem with the people on this base just falling asleep for no reason in the middle of their shifts. and five for the last two areas. <sighs> Out of rations. Cool.
Really? So I guess I need a seventh card. So there's absolutely nothing up here, so I should probably just reset. Not waste all that shit I just waste wasted, excuse me. Like, I fell asleep really quickly that time. Oh, he dropped a ration. Neat. Alright, this is the only door left. It leads to these two doors. Prisoner? I am saved. Call Jennifer of the Resistance on frequency 12048. Jennifer offers aid, but is prideful. Keep the highest class, or she won't reply to you. What was it, 48? Forty-six? Oh god, which, what was it? I'm, like, not paying attention. Alright, never mind. Maybe she just won't reply here. Because that seems to be the running theme with the codex in this game. People just don't reply when they don't feel like it. Empty. The Jape Room. God damn it. Back to building one. Also, I realized you could tell what kind of alert it'll be by the exclamation points. If it's a single exclamation point, it's just for one room. And if it's two, then they follow you throughout different rooms. Ugh. Actually, I have to go back this way, because I want to go down, I don't want to go up. See, that one's going to be multiple rooms, whereas the other one would just be a single room. You know, I had a Word document or text document open right next to me. I could have just used that to write down all the codex.
This game is rather unforgiving. Alright, let's go to the basement so I can restock, because it's really easy to get shit down there. Call me? Have I heard this one before? This is Schneider. There's a gassy area in there. Over. Who, wait, Schneider? What? Who the fuck is- oh. Was that the guy I rescued in the- uh, wait, no, who- what? Wait. Have I met him yet? Who the- uh, you know. This game. I don't know who's who anymore. Everything makes no sense. Short stream, they said. Yeah, I know. Fuck. I'm gonna end up going the whole three hours at this rate. Okay, now he's not responding. No one's responding. Everyone's an asshole. What? There is a version of this game for the NES, but it's apparently nowhere near as good as this version. I also think it only has two buildings. I'm not sure, though. I didn't even know need to go to the basement. I could have just gone here. Shit. All right, to the basement.
So how I avoided getting hit. here. Which makes you wonder why there's a hidden ammo room in the next area over. This has to be the door. It's literally the only one I haven't opened yet. Oh god, there's a, an entire area down here. Help! What? Help! Okay, yeah, I heard you. Okay, how come Snake can punch through the first wall we came across when I had no weapons, but now I gotta deal with this? Help! Alright, yeah, I'm right here. Thanks. I'm Ellen, Dr. Petrovic's daughter. Father is forced to make Metal Gear. Please help him soon. Okay. So all I did was untie you. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Here, which I gotta like check everywhere because God knows. Oh God, please let this open. All right, good. You sons of bitches! You absolute sons of bitches! So we need to be quick. I figured that would be the case. Okay, another case again needing to be quick here. Well, the upside is that they always open in very specific spaces. They have to be, what is it, 4x4, four four, always? Hi, this is Diane. How are you? Be careful of pitfalls. Bye. Thanks. You're such a big help. I 
Again, no reason to pull that up. Pitfall there for some reason. Wait, I went all this way just for nothing. Cool. Feels like I was supposed to fall down here somehow from somewhere else. I don't know how, but... Cool. Oh, what? There was a sa that was a save point? Uh, cool. So I have to go through here anyway. Upside, though, uh, full ammo, mostly, and full rations. So I'm good to go when I get out of here. God damn it. Of course I get caught on the wall. was literally right over the edge. I'm still confused as to why it's required that I, like, why did I have to go this way? Was there some reason to it, or...? Nope, that, that did nothing. Oh, hey, how about that? There's something hidden over here. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Is this building two? How'd I get over here? Well, that makes... That makes this a bit easier. Two buildings had a passageway. I guess maybe what I was supposed to do was someone was going to tell me that there was a way into building one from the basement so I wouldn't have to leave. And then I'd have to go through and then back, but I didn't do that. <laughs> That's why I'd saved there because I was in building two. Accidentally sequence broke the game. Alright, back to floor two of this shithole. And you know what, I'm also going to make my save state here.
Petrovic, Metal Gear is 100 floors below ground of Building 3, 20 kilometers north of this building. The way to destroy Metal Gear is 1. Set the plastic bombs to, dinly, to thinly armored legs. Excuse me. The sequences R R L R R L L R L L R R L R. Oh my god, really? How the fuck was any kid supposed to remember this? You know what? I'm going to type it down so I don't forget it. R R. L, R, L, L. I'm, sh I'm sure that means left and right. R, L, L, R, R, L, R, L, R. So it's R, it's at R, R, L, R, L, L, then reverse it, and then R, L, R. Fuck's sake. Oops, I forgot the rest. Anyway, set 16. Wait, you told me 15? Shit. The Arnolds have the card to exit building 2. Wait, Arnolds? They can be destroyed with a rocket launcher. Good luck. Okay, so I gotta use rockets on them. Which I don't have. Oh. Why do I have to make this so difficult? These assholes have the card to leave, but I can't beat them without a rocket launcher. So I have to go back and get the rocket launcher, and then come back here, kill them, get the card, and go to building three. I'm assuming through the water vent on the first floor. Uh, what time is it? 10:24. You know what? I'm gonna stop here. I'll I'll pick this up next week. I thought this was gonna be a two-stream game, but. This is very close to it. Well, this is gonna definitely be the rain because I'm stopping. But uh, I think I need a breather after two and a half hours of this. I was not expecting to stream this long tonight. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll pick it up. Isn't the one with the? Isn't it the one with the guy with the sleep text? Wait, what? Ah, uh, that was shit. That was 13 minutes ago. Sorry, I did not see your message till now. <laughs> Does anyone want to host? Because I'm only going to play for another half hour anyway, and at this rate, the entire half hour is going to be me going and getting the rockets. So you know what I'll do? I'll go get them, then I'll come back to this building, and we'll start the next stream with the rockets. And that way, that's that's like 30 minutes we all save of me backtracking. It'll be a lot better. Uh, anyway... No one's really streaming right now, so I'm not going to host anyone. So yeah, you guys have a great evening. I'll see you probably Monday or Tuesday, if not both. I don't know. But next week the streams are going to be early, because I'm not going to be here Wednesday through Friday. And I'm going to be busy Saturday, both both this weekend and next weekend. Not that I do weekend streams anyway, but yeah. You guys have a great evening. Bye-bye.